2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Daytona Beach, Florida. We're talking with Nick Visvardis, and he's brought us a performance custom bike. Nick, tell me a little about your background, please, sir. My background, I'm 27 years old. I own a Highline Exotic Automobile Wholesale Company. I sell cars to dealers nationwide, Canada, all across Europe. Um, this is actually just a uh, bad habit of mine, I guess you can say. I've been riding bikes since I was a little kid, and just kind of went from there, I guess. Let's start from the beginning. What were you trying to accomplish with this build, Nick? Uh, nothing like this, actually. Uh, when I first bought the bike, it was a brand new 08 GSXR 1000. Towed it to the custom shop because it showed up with zero miles. Um, within three hours, the bike was in a million pieces and laid across the floor in three different pins. And I figured if we, we got it this far, we might as well just do it all now before we start putting it back together and taking it apart. So, um, it was put together a few times and then I had to take it apart again probably three or four times total because I didn't like the way stuff looked or I didn't like the color of this or that. That's where all the detail came into play. So tell us, let's talk about the fabrication on this. Um, for the most part, all the panels and everything is fairly stock, obviously, with the exception of the swing arm. Uh, the shock is actually a modified Hayabusa shock. The right front hub, in order to do the uh, order to delete, is a Hayabusa modified uh, front hub. Um, other than that, I mean, everything's fairly the original pieces that came out of it, with, like I said, the exception of the swing arm and the wheels. Well, let's talk about the swing arm. The swing arm is um, different. Most people kind of get you know, shocked when they see it and they assume that it automatically doesn't work. Um, ends up that the swing arm is just as functioning, if not better, because of the light factor. Um, it, it's just as good as a custom swing arm. It's been track tested. It's been, it's been beat on plenty of times. And, It'll hold, you know. Sort of a space frame type design for the swing arm then, right? It is. Um, if you look through the back, it's actually offset about a quarter of an inch to the one side to, to make up for the weight distribution. Um, that swing arm by itself can probably be thrown about 100 yards. It weighs less, less than six pounds. Um, but like I said, it will serve a purpose. And you can ride the bike at 160 miles an hour freely and not be worried about it screwing up or wobbling at all or anything like that. What about the rear wheel? The rear wheel is a 240. Um, RC component, component wheels, uh, Alien. Uh, only wanted to do a four inch stretch. When you get a little bit too long, you can't do the wheelies and you, you lose some of the performance in the cornering. So we only did a four inch stretch. Um, and again, it's a, it's a 240 RC component Alien wheel. How did that work out with the um the four inch stretch as far as cornering. You mentioned that, but how does it actually work from a cornering standpoint? Excellent. Um, I will say that if I did go six inches, which was the next step up, I probably would have lost a lot of it. Um, you know, but you can, you can hug the turns fairly well on this. I mean, obviously you're not going to be at a stock position because of the four inch stretch, but you know, you're, 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 you still got plenty of performance. You can still do your wheelies. You know, anytime you go over the four inches, you, you still got a problem doing the wheelies unless you start screwing with the, with the gearing. and shift points and whatnot. Did you have to use a jack shaft on that? No. So you just went with a, a longer chain? Right. Okay. Yep. It's a 530 link chain. What was your approach on paint? Paint? See, I wanted to keep the bike fairly simple. I mean, when you go too crazy on a paint, it takes away from the rest of the detail. Um, you know, there's stuff that, that can't even be seen that is chrome or painted white. I mean, the key's white, the gauges are white. If you look behind the uh, the front grill here, the radiator and the oil cooler are painted white. Um, the fan in the cage is chrome. I mean, there's, I just wanted to make sure that everybody notices the detail and the time and effort that was put into the bike. Um, and I didn't want to take away from it by doing a crazy paint job because it takes away from the rest of it. What companies were instrumental in getting your bike finished? Uh, the build from top to bottom was BPRO Customs in Crestwood, Illinois. Uh, two doors down from them is another company that's also well known called Gator Customs. Um, Gator Customs is been around for quite some time in the paint and bodywork industry with their gator glass, which is what my front turn signals are, which you can't see right now actually, which is the whole point of the gator glass. Um, the clear tail section was also gator, um, which allows us to be able to look through any of these windows and notice that the interior of all the panels is also painted twice with six coats of clear as well. Um, but the build from top to bottom, the motor, the retapping, everything was done basically by, uh, by BPR on Crestwood. All the chrome was sent out to Sport Chrome in California. So obviously, from Chicago to California, we had quite a bit of a shipping charge when you're talking about over 500 pieces of chrome. So um, everything played a factor, but you know, I, was, I was happy with the turnout. And, you know, it's, uh, 
it's an illness, you know, once you start, you really can't stop. And I, I'm sure there's more than I'm going to find it due to the bike. So. Nick, if somebody would like to get a hold of you, how would they do that? You know, they can call my cell phone. It's uh, area code 708-691-5063. Um, I did design the bike from top to bottom. Like I said, I'll gladly you know, shoot some ideas or I can get you in contact with either Gator Customs or Bill over at BPRO. And, um, you know, just because just you're on the other side of the country or you're not anywhere near, there's no problem with them shipping your bike to them, doing what you need to do and getting it right back to you in the same way you sent it. So. Nick, thank you very much. Thank you.